and yes, finally, finally, finally. So of course, I'm back with really, really quick. Of course, of course, of course. Huh? Of course, nothing about video. See, of course, we got new news for um JP and Global, of course, for saying that we finally got the official unit right here. It is Maju Vegeta. We got Dilka Festiza right here. I originally was going to make this into a short, but I realized already that I already made it into a short anyway, though. Regardless, though, well, of course, though, new news, new info, and stuff like that, of course, though. But yeah, I'm going to get this my first time, like, actually going over all the info news. I read a little bit of it, though, and we did get Dilka now at the very, very, very last second. I have no idea what they did. I think it's just really best to keep doing because last year we got the Doka now announced on the 15th. I'm assuming they didn't want to spoil anything that would kind of really at the last second. Thinking, oh yeah, everybody didn't know about Maja Vegeta, but then I seriously, of course, um, you know, made the tweet and everything, of course, and it blew up out of nowhere, like Mario coming to Doka. Um, I knew Maja Vegeta, so all that, of course. Again, it was so simple, so obvious, so easy and stuff like that, of course, though. So, um, yeah. And you know, like I said, uh, we just um, we just got the info about four, three ish hours ago. As I was recording, um, it's usually four a.m. Again, it's gonna be both global and JP times though. Like it's gonna be JP time usually though, so it's gonna be at the same time. I think it's just JP time because last year I think we got Bro's info. Did we get a, a, a eight p.m.? I think we got an eight p.m. on the seventeenth. I remember I was coming home from my birthday stuff last year, and I was like, okay, yeah. Um, but yeah, then of course last year we got Broly uh, around this time as well. Uh, leaked. We got um. Most about that, of course, like I said last year. Um, again, like I said, I did just wake up though, so of course I felt way refreshed. Again, data saving right now, honestly, for you, it will be 6 a.m. I'll be like, okay, I can get this video done really fast, get it up, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, since I'm up an hour earlier now, so I can just, you know, and I'm half up, I'm could be up anyway though, so I might as well just, you know, get this up going though. So, yeah, that is the guy, um, I realized I was like, man, I gotta do a Legends video too. Because Kyle Can Blue, um, Goku came out, Ella, um, uh, the old, new Ultra, Kyle Can Blue just came out for Legends as well, so yeah, of course. But yeah, this video shouldn't be too, too long though, I'm not gonna probably spend too, too long on it though, of course. And of course, we got a lot of other stuff too, I'd not expect though, of course, we got the JPT too as well. Again, it's typical stuff like that though, so, um, yeah. That's pretty cool stuff right there. But yeah, like I said though, uh, that's gonna be all the new stuff um, coming up for um, Global and JP to come around again. Same day it's celebrated for both Global and JP at the same time. So you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to go crazy about like, oh, Global could be behind again. No, this is, this is the same time celebration. Probably like when the Joker Ball Super Superhero Hero movie comes out for JP. And if Global comes out in the summer for us over here in America, in the summertime, but I think it's gonna be sport anyway though. So no one really care though. Yeah, that one frame of Broly that we saw is <laughs> gonna be a Duncan. So yeah. Um, again, we'll probably have a cool celebration based around that in April. Maybe just for JP only. I don't know if Gold was going to do it. They might be like, oh yeah, just celebrate the, you know, the JP release of Heroes. Not, that's probably going to be Golden Week, actually, though. It could be like Golden Week stuff. Uh, super, uh, the Super Hero movie for Dragon Ball Super, so uh, that'll probably be Golden Week stuff there. So yeah, again, no need to worry. Again, same time, same stuff for Golden JP. Don't even be behind, whatever. So yeah. Um, his leader skill is actually pretty good. Again, he does actually, I think, have it. He actually does have a triple leader skill. I did check for both Gobo and JP. Yes, Gobo is getting Gobo already got the update for the triple leader skill, all the anniversary updates. I think that was already in the game via the last update that we just got via the data because that came out around the same time the anniversary came up for JP. Again, Gobo usually gets all this stuff way early in advance to the beginning of the year or so. Um, yeah. And also, um, some more stuff coming to Global, some more anniversary stuff coming to Global. Also, in here as well, we got a new support memory for the Maju Borok stage so that, um, for the um i think it's the um, one with the um ink great sandman that transforms and um go high school go and goes to ink great sandman and um 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 spoke with Vigiyama. uh that's it yeah they're um getting uh that stage is getting updates so we can get support memory for this will be vgs pride so yeah basically yeah click hundred of them and blah 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 so yeah basically yeah it's vgs pride so yeah like you know you may be in my mind my body but nothing you know um but there, there's one thing that Saint always he always keeps his pride. I'm half sleep though, so yeah, that sends with way out of contact. It's way out of everywhere right now, so yeah. But yeah, though he will be getting that support memory update and everything, of course, right there. So yeah, um, I, I was like that because I was, I, was, I was like, wait, this is new info and news because I checked the um, I checked like Doku World he usually has it on um, Doku Assets. Uh, I seriously sometimes have it. Doken Air usually has it. Um, I was like, okay, this. I was like, okay, this, this is crazy because I just woke up. I didn't realize it. I was gonna actually just start the video like really early. Then I was, I was like, holy crap, I need to get the info on here because I didn't. I knew I did not know about this at all though. So yeah. Oh, what else we have on here? We have uh, my camera is wrong. Nice. Uh, new video about history stage. So it's gonna be great power. Um, again, this will be for both one and JP. For JP, it makes sense because we just had anniversary stuff. But you know, we just had to use something. And um, Team Brodock stuff as well. I guess I was doing this update as well. Um, this is stage for Gold Boy. It will be worthy of I believe. So, yeah, worthy of Rapids right there. Pretty cool. Um, 
the new Doka now that got released again it released really like four two hours ago it was crazy because it just kind of again like I said I feel like it's just global scheduling kind of got bad this time because again they probably work on same day stuff they kind of forgot because I'm for JP I think we're gonna get like evolution blue for ZZA in here we're gonna get like the great ZZA for JP I can little stuff like that though of course and they did say that there was gonna be a Doka now between like the 6th the 18th the 17th 16th, so yeah, because last year we had it on the 15th. We got Broly already revealed, we got everything info. So, yeah, this is around the same time as last year, but I'm assuming Gold Witch had like really bad scheduling this time around. No, I'm assuming this Gold Witch just scheduling uh, was just really bad at some point. We're getting a new easy area for Gold Witch JP. Yes, it is Goku Jr. Vegeta Jr. They weren't part of the anniversary, now they're here for Global. They came way early in advance, and they're getting their ECA too. So, I'll say there's really a Global W, but at the same time, for JP, they had to deal with this unit for like what almost like what at least two, three weeks now, almost. And they didn't get these eight, everybody was hounding on them. Because legit, I did one of these guys as LR, but um Goku Jr. Vegeta Jr. as LR as a unit, because I, I do like the idea of like a descendants like you know hundred years later Goku Vegeta. But at the same time it's also like, yeah, the Easy they we we do look at Easy A because they're data mining. They were data mining in the files and they found like, oh yeah, new Easy A um stage is coming up though. So that's kind of obvious right there. It was way obvious they're getting Easy A. Because it sucked when they first released though. Oh, uh, they should just finish the unit. Uh Bark's fun getting Easy A for Saiyan Day, that was really, really typical. Uh, new art for wallpaper for, um, I think from the manga for Dragon Ball Super. I believe they're doing that for Saiyan Day as well. Um, this is probably the Doka now. I uh, guess this is new biology video wallpaper when we log in, we can get this, um, and stuff like that. Of course, so it's pretty cool. Again, it's like very Dragon Ball Super. And the uh, Dragon Ball Super, you know, Toriyama art style. And it is officially in everything sound right there. And, um, you know, as Bajor Vegeta. So it, looks, it looks really good, though, in the Dragon Ball Super art style, actually. But if you like Bajor Vegeta, this is how you do it. This is really good right there, like that. Presentation right there. Of course, we got the JP info. We got the um, global info. I'm gonna go over the global info because um, I know for JP they mentioned like yeah, he has like a triple leader skill. Um, but yeah, again we got the whole fully fully translated info and everything. Of course, they also yeah, let's get started though. Of course, um, it was this one. Of course, yeah, here's the card and stuff like that. Of course, really good. Uh, but of course, we about to you know do the whole part of the portion. Um, but yeah, um. Of course, uh, I was uh, with the so, Yeah, for global JP though, again, they did, I think they mentioned gifted warriors in here. I didn't read too, too much about it though, um, but I think Leader Skull already is really good. Again, say the units like last year with Broly, because a lot of people said, Oh yeah, Broly's mid now, he's disgusting, he's horrible. Like, first of all, he's not, he's really good. I'm just saying, a lot of people say he was bad, really bad. Last year, he was good. I don't know what y'all saying, he was really good. So, yeah, of course. Uh, so, for this skill, it's Maju Buu Arc or Vegeta Family Category 3. Everything at 170, really good right there. Plus, um, additional um, all sets of 30 percent for characters who have Gifted, gifted Warrior. Today is a triple leader skill, which is really good because in Global you got the update files and everything for for the um what's seven year? Yeah, I'll say six year. I was just always go back for pushing it for anniversary. The seven year or so, um yeah, Global Ray got though. Um his super attack effect, I like to do this um, all the time. Uh race attack defensive for one turn, um and it meant the damage. So this is final impact attack. The, um all like victory time. I mean it'll probably be better in a minute though, because he has one where he's charging four. I think that might be his uh, SSR hard. Yeah, of course now that one's passive. As I said, Vegeta's remote. Oh, my God. That's a Vegeta's remote. Holy crap. So, yeah, of course. Passive effect. Uh, attack defense plus, um, um, I know, um, activates intro animation. So, yeah, he has literally everything from the anniversary. Intro, I don't know how cool was going to hit on that because he has intro animations. No, because LR is, yeah, because they have like intro, 12 key, 18 key. Then, of course, my transform, active skill transformation. Uh, so the transformation. Um, then, of course, you get the 12 key, 18 key. Then, their active skill. Yeah, J yeah, well, well, it'll be fine. Um, I might check out a little bit just because, again, so many animations, like, you know, at a 12 key, you, know, you get the intro animation, the regular animation, the active scope. Again, animations are all over the place nowadays, so, yeah, that's how it's going to be. If it's a little chuggy and laggy, don't blame me, that's just the thing. It's like the 400 Vegeta assets it's from, like, Evolution Blue Vegeta, though, so, but, uh, of course, it activates intro animation. Um, only once, of course, reduces damage received by 30% for the rest of the battle when your ally who had, includes trunks on the team. Attacking the same turn. Okay, that's actually really good. Again, you're gonna see that because again, if you're building a Majin Buu Arc team, and it can make sense because Trunks is literally in the intro animation though. Like he's literally knocking out know, Trunks like neck chop. Like a future come on last year, again, Trunks got chopped a lot. Last year he got neck chop. This year he got neck chop. What's next year is gonna get neck chop? Uh, poor Trunks. Like even his Doken fast, like he just got like chopped. <laughs> he slashed them. Less is everything, of course. Um, so yeah, it makes sense though why Trunks are there. Okay, and Trunks is animation, Trunks are there on your team. Again, it basically just Majin Buu Arc and stuff like that, which a lot of people are like, alright. Probably gonna be around, because again, he has Majin Buu and Vegeta Family, and Loki Gifted Warriors. Yeah, you're definitely gonna see it though. But good little skill for Majin Vegeta, like another Vegeta Family unit, and uh, Project Warriors, Loki, and um, like Goten, Trunks, Krillin, all that stuff. And Majin Buu Arc, good little skill, good triple threat little skill right there. 
Um, but yeah, we're new to it, stuff like that, of course. Um, that is the triple leader skill that they're bringing for Cold War again. Like, this is all the anniversary stuff. Intro animation, triple leader skills, um, a whole bunch of different animations, it's just different stuff there. So, of course. Uh, I think a part of it's passive, like, the actual beginning passive. Tag defense was 180, plus additional tag defense was 50%. Oh, yeah, it's 50%. When, when performing a super attack, because he gave himself another additional defense of 50%, when three or more, with three or more key spheres obtained, reduces the damage received by 20%, with six or more key spheres obtained, plus additional attack, plus 88%, randomly changes key spheres from certain type to int, changes, um, it turns out to int, but HP is 88% or less. Uh, his links, his are, he has links are same warrior race, super saiyan, royal lineage, prodigies, um, no prodigies, but I'm um, saying pride, makes sense. Over the flash, supreme power, uh, with the bunch of bark lake, and first battle. Let's give me there. Um, did it go over his categories? Okay, his categories. Um, oh, and his, um, oh yeah, his, um, active skill as well. He has active skill. I like the evolution of Vegeta counterpart. He has, uh, final explosion. So it can be activated when his character receives, after his character receives an attack six or more times in battle. Only once, holy crap. Oh, that should just be turn based. Ugh. I say, sadly, you're not gonna say that will turn it though. Yeah, but his, um, uh, his uh, active skill effect performs a crit. Uh, oh, dang, perform critical hits when the turn in which his active skill is active. Greatly raises, the temp greatly raises temporarily, um, greatly raises attack temporarily, causes mega colossal damage, which is the LR, that's the LR level, to all enemies and stuns them for one turn when he's like 18% health. Uh, his categories are also, um, yeah, now his categories are budget work, give the warriors, um, pure saiyan, super saiyan to, uh, DS family, resurrect warriors, worthy raffles, created by mind. Okay, he's not bad though. He's really, really good. And when I saw his passive, I was like, "Wait, he gets crit on his passive." I was like, "Okay, that's the final explosion," which makes sense because um, after it's like, it really sets up Vegeta like Majin Vegeta's final explosion because Boo was like he literally wrapped him up Majin Vegeta and like was punching him down, 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 down. So that definitely does make sense of why I was like, was, "It's gonna be attack based, not turn based." It'd be cool if it was. I don't know. I feel like just make it easier. Maybe like I know in like three turns after battle or whatever. But I mean, yeah, you're not gonna say active skill salad. It's a battle row, you probably will see um, red zone, you'll probably see well, before if you don't get knocked down maybe. But um again I knew it was gonna be active skill, oh lord. Yeah, sadly he's not gonna be good. I mean he's gonna be probably good for what turn of like damage wise and everything, but um you are going to a lot of physical like dropping with some pearls and more tournament though, so yeah. Um overall he's good though, like overall he's actually really good. Again, final the conditions I kinda do hate for the active skill, but it definitely does make sense. But yeah, now I know why it gives you basically crit and stuff like that though. It's passive the thing, he's a really crazy orb changer. He has half the turns in, rotation, which is gonna be really good because the skill basically puts that in effect. And um again, even like the gutting, does it go to your trunks count? I don't think it does. The physical ghosts and trucks. I don't think they count though, but yeah. Overall, though, let's say David G is really good. Again, he's really good. I have like really no complaints. Uh, expect the, his active skill conditions can be a little bit better, but I, I get the situation. I, I don't care about that anymore though. I, I just really don't care. But he's really good. Like, he's overall, he's really, really good. Um, yeah. Of course, on to the next unit, it is a uh, new ghosts and trucks though. So yeah, it makes sense because this is like the unit where they come in to save Vegeta and stuff like that, of course. Um, his. Did I have a Leader skill, okay, the leader skills gives you warriors key three, everything up 130, that's so cool. Um, super attack effect. Raise attack defense for one turn spin damage. And for the passive now. Um oh yeah, but yeah, I got all the gold translations. It's so simple. Like, this, I, I love the other all separate tabs. I kinda hate it and like it though. Probably just because they can't fit everything up in one passive like JP. I mean JP does all in one go. <clears throat> well Gold Bull does um it like this, which I think is a little bit more better at low key, but I don't know. Um, passive does, I just said pint sized, um, it does say pint sized duo, pint sized duo's true strength. I'm done with that. I'm done with the global pass on this. Attack defense plus 150, plus additional defense plus 60%, and a high chance of it in his attack, including super attacks. It's first attacker in a turn. High chance of, I said high chance, oh, that's high chance of laughing. High chance of launching an additional attack that had, as a second attacker, or third attacker in a turn, plus additional attack defense plus 10%. Who is each attack performed up to 50%. Plus additional attack defense plus 10% up to up to max of 15% with each attack evaded. Super attacks plus digital two key and additional attack plus 50% when the other ally who has Vegeta um attacking uh, if Vegeta on the team. Okay, so he has to be on the team, that's really good. And we have chance of performing a crit if there's an ally in the same turn. So basically if you have Vegeta at the same turn you get crit and if you have him on the team, you'll basically have Bobo. So you're basically just dodging. The more dodges you get, the more stronger they get. 
Um, the first, second, it's the second and third attack or slide. Um, I, I don't know, I think they're okay. Like, again, you gotta remember to put them in a specific class to be good, but they're, they're decently good. Again, they want you to build them like with dodge, so you can dodge a lot, and, um, you know, basically, um, so, you know, crit and stuff like that, of course, but again, you're, um, it's a great, yeah, you're gonna get crit a lot, because again, him and Ojibwe are on the same team, already good, but I think they're pretty okay, though. Like, nothing like, you know, oh my gosh, like, you know, crazy, crazy broken. The passive is good, probably be insane, though, but I think, I mean, the attack push was 150 is already insane already, though, so, yeah, that's already crazy, though, so, um, yeah, um, not bad, actually. Um, decently good for saying that stuff, though. So, yeah, I might go ahead and the video there for sure, though. Um, go to the drug seems pretty okay. My other reviews actually seems really good. Again, at conditions for active skill, I, I, I'm not going to complain about it anymore. I get it. Um, pass was really good, but just like it's going to be a really good unit, though, overall. Though. But, yeah, any the video there for sure, though. So, yeah, see you guys later, though. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Great day. Great day. Great day. Great day. Great day. God bless. All food going up. Mass and top. But we're ready, too. So, what do you guys think of all this? All this though, of course, you like to eat. Um, again, very simple, very easy for Vegeta. Um, yeah, um, probably talk about more in a celebration info video, which should be probably sooner or later tonight. So, yeah, or VJump, because I might make VJump to a short just because nothing's really crazy in the VJump, it's just all this stuff. Evolution with Vegeta is easy. Easy A. I don't know what's gonna be for for Legends, probably like Alcan Blue Goku. All the stuff we already know. Maybe some new stuff in there, but that's probably not worth the time it's going on for the same stuff, though. But I've done it before, so who cares? See you guys later, though. Peace out.